I'm Jenny Day, so glad to have you with us tonight. Brandon, still at home as we do our part to stop the spread because tonight, as COVID-19 cases continue to rise in California, hospitals are running low on space. This comes as that new variant of COVID has now been found in nearby San Diego. It is said to be an even more contagious strain of the virus. So hospital officials are pleading with the public to follow precautions Cautions. Yesterday, the U.S. hit gruesome record daily highs, more than 3,700 deaths and more than 124,000 hospitalizations. The state National Guard has deployed members of its medical corps to help in Southern California hospital emergency rooms. Imperial County also concerned about staffing, but tonight are saying they are prepared. So now to more details about that more infectious strain. It comes again as health experts warn the country is entering some of the worst weeks of the pandemic. Sarah Dolliff continues our COVID coverage. A highly contagious variant of COVID-19 first discovered in the UK, now in the US, where it's been confirmed in a member of the Colorado National Guard deployed to an assisted care facility. Officials now investigating a second possible case in that state. Our public health officials are working diligently to identify anyone else who may have been exposed and any other potential cases to test them to see if there's a chain of transmission. Another case now identified in Southern California. The developments adding to the urgency of vaccinations that are going more slowly than planned. Operation Warp Speed acknowledging it's behind schedule. Vaccine allocations or uptake usually starts out a little slow uh, and then it, then it increases exponentially. In Florida, healthcare workers lining up to get initial doses. And this is just another piece of the puzzle. But one step closer. Seniors at another location camping out overnight. Well, we've been here since 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. As healthcare systems reach a breaking point. In Southern California, hospitals converting parking lots, even cafeterias, to handle surges of patients. We're scared. We don't know what we're walking into. The virus claiming the life of 41-year-old Louisiana Congressman-elect Luke Letlow, days before he was set to be sworn in. At New York's St. Patrick's Cathedral, bells ringing in memory of those lost, a number the CDC projects could top 400,000 in the first weeks of the new year. Sarah Dolliff, NBC News.